So today what we're going to do is we're going to jump into um, how I did that. <laughs> so we're going to kind of take it back, start with a, a different file, um, load in, talk about how, how setting up these things in Revit, how to get into it. Okay. So first things first, what I would highly suggest is if you guys, um, if you if you have a, a material, so if you have something like this set up where I have the scene already done from a previous version or a previous design, or maybe you have a, a, a different project and you want to use, use some of these materials and you really like the materials that you've set here, I highly suggest that you add them to a, a your user library. Okay. So, you know, there's a couple tips that I'll give you as far as the, the Revit side is concerned. First, I still am not using, let me go to complete here. I still am not using, um, the direct link. Um, so the way I use twin motion and, and, and the way, um, sort of the, the flexibility I want with it, I'd much rather have file export from Revit. I can override the thing. doesn't matter. Override the data Smith file, import the twin motion. And then, um, this way, if I do an update, it's just export override refresh, export override refresh. Honestly, it's not that different than direct link. Anyways, you're, you're refreshing. Now the difference is I have the ability to export different things separately, right? So when you do direct link, you're basically forced. Um, if I jump over here, you're forced to bring in whatever's on in your view, right? Um, if you use data Smith, you can, you can bring in things separately. Yeah, that's fine. I'll keep it. Um, so when you're, when you're importing to, there's another interesting thing. So you have an option to either keep hierarchy, collapse by material or collapse all. For a long time, I was using collapse by material because what it does is it takes your Revit material and it, it combines the geometry so that you can, um, you know, that's this, that's the selectability of it. So if you have something that's siding, it comes in as one object called siding and then that's how you select it. I've actually been kind of moving moving towards um, keeping the hierarchy. Even though it makes the container really long when you open it, um, it adds a ton of flexibility. Because what that means is it actually is maintaining your Revit category system and the elements individually. So if you actually wanted to take one column and actually physically move it into in motion, you can. Not all the columns that are the same material. So the, and the only downfall is that you just have this gigantic container when you expand it. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But I would suggest that if you have lights, um, you want to process all, which is meshes and lights. Um, and, and one suggestion I also have here is um, set all values to TM default. 